Well, at least this weather will make sense for the doll I'm unboxing. It's definitely that kind of a mood. Ew. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we're gonna be unboxing her Imperial Highness special edition Anastasia. She's like a collector doll from back in the 90s. She is from 1997. And I have some of my other Anastasia dolls right here. Um, and like I've said in other videos, if Anastasia were an actual Disney princess, not owned by a Disney subsidiary, then she would probably be like one of my most favorite Disney princesses, but she is not. She is owned by Fox. Um, a lot of people that worked on Disney movies though did work on like the Anastasia movie, but these were actually made by a company called Galoob and they make some of the best like playline dolls I've ever seen. They made all those Spice Girl dolls too, but like this Anastasia, this yellow dress one is just absolutely stunning. I am so glad they made this doll. And then of course, when she's at the opera in her blue, like midnight blue dress in Paris and just absolutely beautiful. Oops, <laughs> I pulled out her earring. Um, and the earrings are so old, they're actually starting to yellow. That's how long these dolls have been out. But all the jewelry is plastic, which is really good because we know metal jewelry destroys doll skin. If it's cheapy, which for a doll, of course it would be. And then we have Anastasia in her getting out of the orphanage and heading onto the road outfit. And then I have a Dimitri doll and he is a little cutie. But let's show you guys the actual doll we're gonna be unboxing so she can join the collection. We have her Imperial Highness Special Edition Anastasia. Let's get that glare off of her. And she is just absolutely beautiful in that lavender dress. There's so many details. It's like padded and put together. It's just absolutely beautiful doll. So I can't wait to get her out of the box so she can join her friends. As always, I'm here to give you guys a close up of the actual doll we're gonna be unboxing. But see all those details, that makeup, that beautiful face, very movie accurate. Like that dress, they just put so much detail and beauty into this. But I'm assuming this is probably a pretty big contract for Galoob and that's why they put a bunch of money in here. And then it comes with like a little synopsis of the story and then it gives you like a little note to open and read. And here is the front of the box and it's got Anastasia and some clip art style. All of that, a 20th Century Fox presentation, not Disney. And look at that. Four collectors over 14 years of age. So, she's an adult collector doll. And then Anastasia, and then there's a picture of the actual Anastasia, and it gives you like the actual history, not just the movie version. It's a close up look of my other dolls. Her yellow dress from the dream waltz then she comes with a little stand so you can put dimitri on there with her and then dimitri will actually like dance in the whole thing if you roll it on the ground it'll like swirl around and i'll show you guys that later and then we have leaving the orphanage anastasia and then i got this weird burger king anastasia doll which we'll probably take out of the box too Okay guys, and here she is out of the box, and holy crap, she is just so pretty. Like, look at these details, look at that face, she has that cute little sparkle in her eyes that they did a lot in the 90s. That like, red hair, they put this whole entire like, tiara together, and it's just super cute. And then let me show you the back of her hair, it's crazy. They like 
really went in, did a little do to tuck in all that hair, because I'm pretty sure if you undid it all, she'd have the same amount of hair as like any of the other dolls. You can just see like all the beadwork, the embroidery, everything. She has a little ring on her finger, a sash and just more detail going all the way down. And while it's not the same colors as her Imperial Highness dress in the movie, it's got like all the same details. It's just this is purple and the other one's like a cream color. And then she has like the standard 90s collector stand that like really light cheapy plastic and they just slap a sticker on it. And it just says Anastasia, trademark. And then you can see her little shoes and I didn't put like a petticoat underneath this doll because the dress is like fluffy enough and stands enough on its own. Here is the back of the doll and that looks like that would be velcroed but it's not. She's sewn into the dress so you can't like... Oh, no. No, she is. Okay, yeah. It just, it looks like it would be velcroed but she is sewn into the back of that dress. You can see that sash. And then just like the back of the dress and it kind of like falls down onto the floor. There she is in full view and she's absolutely gorgeous. All right guys and then I took that weird Burger King doll out of the packaging and holy crap is she scary and her face is way too light doesn't match her neck and then you're just supposed to be able to change her like from this purple dress into her like streetwear clothing and it just kind of shows you on the back. And then she has like a little ponytail hair extension thing you can pull out. And then there's a dial on the back so you can reel it back in. And I'm assuming with her long hair that that means she's more princess-like and then with the shorter hair, she's more Anna-like. Is Miss her imperial Highness Anastasia doll out of the box. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I had this doll for years and I was too afraid to like take her out of the box, which is weird for me. I rarely ever have like dolls that I want to keep in the box. I'm like such a deep boxer. I like to touch them and feel them and just like, they're so, they just look so much better out of the box. But, um, I don't know why. I was weird about this one. I've had her for like seven years just sitting in her box, not being displayed, and um, I don't know. I'm glad that you guys let me know that it's okay to take her out of the box. Like, it's completely fine. And I'm so glad that she's out and she's joining in with like the rest of my girls. And I don't know. The glue just did it right back then. Like, their little pets are, you know, there's like no paint deficiencies, like they just look really good. They just came with like cute little accessories, like the music box, like, look how tiny in detail that little music box is, that's so cute. And then of course, this is a bop. We were playing this like on our cassette players all the time, wearing um, Christmas tree skirts and pretending we were princesses, dancing around like me and my cousins. <clears throat> and then this is like a little bag that came with Dimitri and it's supposed to hold the music box to remind Anna that she is Anastasia. Oh wait, I was going to show you guys this. Hold on. <laughs> so here we have Dimitri and we have Anastasia in her Dreamwalks dress. So. There is a doll of her dad that I would love to get so I could recreate this scene from the movie, but we'll have Anastasia and Dimitri hold it. And then you're supposed to like glide this along. Like it's not really catching right here. There we go. And then you can see like they just kind of dance around. Let's see. Yeah, it's not catching the surface of my table that well. It's a really smooth surface. Well, good lord. Okay. Well, guys, that's it. Um, thank you all for watching. And my question of the day would be, who is your favorite non-Disney princess? Because Anastasia knocks it out of the park with that one.
but I would love to know your opinions down in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. Like, let your friends know who also collect dolls that I'm out here and I might as well get some subscribers on my channel before the FTC knocks it down. So, alright guys, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.